Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a tutorial. Woo -woo. This is my autumnal makeup tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is pop your hair back. I'm just going to use some like grips. These, I don't know where they disappear after I bought a new pack the other day. They just sort of disappear. Don't know where they go. So if anyone knows where they disappear off to, please tell me. Because I've applied a little bit of my EOS lip balm. Next you're going to want to use a primer and I'm going to use the Inamasca Satin Primer. This is a really good primer. It is pricey. Um, I think it's maybe £24.50, £24 around that price mark. I do prefer the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer because it has a pearly shine to it whereas this doesn't. Um, this is a satin finish obviously um, but I do prefer a little bit of a glow. Throughout this video if I keep looking down there it's because that's where my mirror is. So I'm just going to use my ring finger to apply this. Then once you have applied your primer, you're gonna to wanna to use a foundation. Uh, the foundation I'm gonna use is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is an NW13, but I think I'm even lighter than it. This has a really good coverage to it, but it's not brilliant if you have dry skin like I do. Um, yeah, don't use it if you have dry skin. You wanna go for Studio Sculpt if you have dry skin, but I do really like Studio Fix and pop a bit of that on the back of my hand. I use a Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer. This brush is dirty. Um, I used it yesterday. It was clean yesterday, but I used it yesterday. So I'm just going to apply this to my face and buff it in as I go. I love this brush. I love Zoeva brushes. The majority of the brushes that I'm going to use are probably Zoeva brushes. In fact, they're probably all Zoeva brushes. <laughs> I love them. I think they're really affordable and really, really good. So I'm just going to blend all of this in. I'm going to speed all this up by the way, <laughs> otherwise we'll be here for a while. Then once you are happy with how your foundation looks, I'm going to go in with a concealer and the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair One. I'm going to use a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer. I'm just going to do it. These brushes are incredible. Concealer brushes are so good. So I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes. can use as little or as much as you want just to brighten up under my eye. Then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm just going to pop a little bit around my nose because I tend to get quite red there and blend it in. These brushes are incredible, it does all the work for you. Then I'm just going to add a little bit more concealer to the areas where I think I need it so I've got these beast spot. Then once you've done that step you're going to want a powder and I'm using the MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Light. This is so good. I've had this for years. Like I've had it for such a long time. Um, my voice is going all croaky. I think I'm getting cold. But um, this is incredible and I still use the puff that it came with which is probably really really bad but um, it's really good. So I just want to press it into my skin because if you add too much powder as when you look a bit cakey. Okay, next step is eyebrows. Now, I use the Natural Collection. This is just a clear mascara. Um, and I use it as a brow gel. And then I'm just gonna literally run this through my brows. This is really cheap, it's $1.99 in boots. Um, but any clear mascara does the same thing. Then on my brows, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. I love this product. Basically like a three step product, but I only really do the two steps. So you have on the one end a spoolie so you can brush through your brows. Then on the other end you have like a waxy pencil. My shade is the shade Brook S, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't say on the actual product. And then in the middle you can twist this off 
and it's a highlighter and you can pop it underneath your brow bone. I was like, yes, I'm just going to use the pencil end for now. And it's a really good shape because it's angled. So I'm just going to go in. I'm only going to show you one brow and then I'll do the other one because they say your brows are sisters, not twins. Um, but I think mine are like long distance cousins or something because <laughs> it's ridiculous um, how completely different they are. But um, yeah, so how I do my brows is I start off at the very beginning of the brow and I just lightly draw the bottom part of my brow and then I go straight up at an angle like that to sort of give my brow the baseline. <laughs> then I just literally fill in my brows and then all I do on the arch is just extend them slightly like that. And at the beginning of the brow, I just gently push the product up. Then I take the spoolie on the other end and brush the front part of my brow out. And this just makes it look so much softer. Right, my brows couldn't be more different, but they're fine for me. I can, I can live with that. The next step, I'm going to go on and just bronze up my face a little bit. And I'm going to use the Benefit Hula bronzer. This is incredible, like I love this. Um, it is such a good colour. It's more of a grey um, bronzer rather than an orange bronzer. I'm going to use Aza Weaver brush again. Um, this is the 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. So I'm just going to apply the bronzer to my cheeks in circular motions, working up towards the hairline. Then the same on the other side. Okay, next on to eyes. I'm gonna powder my eyes first because your eyes are the oiliest part of your body. So I'm just gonna run my ring finger over my lid to get rid of any creases. And then powder with my MAC powder I used earlier straight on top. So again, wipe out any creases and powder. This will really help to stop your eyeshadow from creasing. So I'm going to use the Naked 3 palette. This is one of my favourite palettes. I love it. And I'm going to use Rick, which is a gold colour. I'm going to use the Zoeva 222 Luxe All Over Shader, is it? Yeah. Brush. And I'm just going to take Trick and apply it all over my lid. I love this colour. And I like to just blend out with the sides as I go. Not all the way, because we'll go and blend out even more, but I just like to take it there. Then I'm going to go in with a 228 Luxe Grease brush from Zoeva and blend that out. Then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Then I'm going to take Nuna, which is this matte pinky brown colour. Again, on the brush I just used to blend out, which is the 228 Luxe Crease Brush. A little bit on the brush. And softly blend this into my crease and out a corner. This is just going to give a bit of depth, a bit of warmth to the actual eye. Then I'm going to take a 224 Luxe Defined Crease Brush and blend that out. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Factory which has a shimmer to it but it's a much darker brown and I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit of this and when I mean tiny I mean tiny. I'm just going to apply this into the very outer corner of the dark brown just to add even more definition then just softly blend that out. I'm going to take an angled brush and this is actually a Topshop brush. <laughs> um, I got it ages ago though, I don't know if they still do it. And I'm just going to take Factory, so the last colour that I used, and I'm just going to run this under the lower lash line. Just perhaps a third of the way along. I'm going to take some of this, which is a um, eyeliner gel professional it's called professional eyeliner gel in 001 I think that is and this is by a brand called Lola um, and I got this when I was in Menorca last year um, I got it then 
um, and I thought it was just like a Spanish brand naturally um, but I found it in Marks and Spencers so they do do it in Marks and Spencers and this is so good I'm going to use another Zoeva brush this is the 317 wing liner brush so you're going to just want to keep your eye open and roughly figure out where you want your wing to go um, these are really good because it's a wing liner brush anyway so the brush is winged so I'm going to want it about there so I'm just gently going to draw where I roughly want the wing to go. I'm just going to go in again and make that line more defined. Then I'm just going to do eyeliner normally on my eye. So I'm going to match the other eye up now. So now you have your eyes done. Ignore that for the rest of the video. So then you're going to want to put your mascara on and I, I'm loving the Benefit There Real Mascara. I'm just going to apply this. It is incredible. And then obviously do the same to bottom lashes. Then I'm going to go in on my waterline with a eyeliner and this is the Estee Lauder Pure Colour uh, Black and Black. This is incredible, this is an intense, I think it's actually called intense eyeliner, is it? Yeah, intense eyeliner. So I'm just gonna apply that to my waterline. Next step, blusher. And I'm gonna use the MAC powder blush in Well Dressed. A Real Techniques blush brush. I love this colour. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks in circular motions. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know, like lipstick's just like my favourite thing. I'm going to line my lips first of all with the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Pillow Talk. This is like the best lip liner ever. They are pricey because it's Charlotte Tilbury. It's £16, I think. Um, I love it, I cannot say enough about it. So I'm going to line my lips with it and also fill my lips in with it. I'm just going to take that on to the tops of my cheekbones. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to start doing a lot more tutorials on my channel because I've only done one before. Um, so if you have a look that you want me to recreate, then feel free to leave it in the comments section below. I've also linked my latest blog post in the top line of the description. I also have posted on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'd already have known this. Um, but I put on there that I wanted to do a beauty Q&A because I do get quite a few questions. I just wanted to sort of answer them all in a video, basically. And maybe an extra video, I don't want it to take up a Sunday slot. Um, but if you do have a question, anything to do with beauty, then you can either comment it on the Instagram post or you can leave it in the comment section on this video um, but I am going to film a video soon so yeah my dog's barking so that is the end of this week's video I hope you guys enjoyed me doing a tutorial give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it with my messy hand um, and I will see you next Sunday for a new video thumbnail time